Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is my dog Xander and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If that's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to make this design right here. It says, Hello Summer, and it's got a cool rainbow overlay on top of the text and just some really bright colors that, that look really good for summer. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so once you've logged on to your Canva account, you're going to go up to the right hand corner where it says create a design and we'll click on that. There we go. And I always choose 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard t-shirt design for merch by Amazon. So that's just how I choose to design all of my shirts. So I'm going to select that. And a blank page should open right here. And I always like to design on black. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead, click on my blank canvas, come up to the left corner this time where it says background color and we are going to select black for the background color. Okay. So once you have your black background, I'm going to go ahead and hit T to pull up a text box. And for this example, I'm going to use the words, hello, summer. Um, I'm going to do it in all caps. Perfect. Make it nice and big. Perfect. Now you can use any font that you want. Um, for this example today, it's going to look best if you pick something that's big and bold. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this font here. Now again, you can pick anything you like, but something big and bold is going to look the best. And all we're going to do is go ahead and save this as an image. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hit download. We're going to do a transparent background. We're going to save it as a PNG and we're just going to go ahead and download. So now that it is downloaded, I can actually get rid of that entirely because now I'm just going to go ahead and use this. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and alter the shape. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So now that it is a photo, I can come up here to edit image. And you've got a whole bunch of different selections. We've been over several of them before, but this is going to be a new one. So today we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and you'll see liquify. Okay. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you may find it down here and you can just click on it and it'll upload it. But we're going to choose liquify. I'm going to put see all, and there's a lot of different ones that you can choose. I'm going to pick wobble wobble. I think looks the best for the text. So I'm going to click on this one. There you go. So you can see kind of how it makes the text look uh, kind of funny and you can play with it too. So if you come up here, I can play, you know, make it look as kind of weird as I like and size. I can do this here is also going to kind of change the way it looks. I like it something like that actually. So I'm going to go ahead and apply here. Perfect. Now we're going to be using several different types of effects on the text. I do want to do a rainbow overlay. Um, when we do a rainbow overlay, sometimes it doesn't remove the background entirely. One way to kind of help with this a little bit is to put in um, like an outline around your text. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to edit image. I am going to put a shadow, a glow shadow around the text. Oops, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and use black. You won't be able to see it on this background, but I want a nice shadow around it. That's just gonna help with background removal. So I'm gonna apply. And we're gonna give it a second. Okay. Now, if I was to change the background here to something like a dark gray, just so you can see, there is now an outline around the text. And again, that's just gonna help make it a little bit easier to remove the background once I add the rainbow effect. So I'm gonna come up to edit image again. 
And this time we are going to go all the way down to color mix and we're going to use the rainbow overlay for color mix. Now I've showed you how to do this on one video before, but we'll go over it again. So I can move the offset. I'm going to bring that offset way over. And so you can see how it sort of changes the colors and you can pick whatever you like. There's also ways to kind of change the way this looks afterwards. So I'm just going to bring the offset all the way up and I'm going to bring maybe not that much. I want to kind of play with it. Maybe not quite that much. Ooh. Something like that. And we'll hit apply. And we'll give it a second to finalize. Apply down here. And there we go. So now what we want to do is remove the background so that we just have the words. Now I showed you how to do background removal before, so it's the same process. We'll hit background removal. And it is not always perfect. Sometimes it will leave some of the background or it will remove some of the text. And in that case, we're gonna have to, oh wow. I was actually perfect that time. That usually doesn't actually work perfectly. Um, usually you'll have to come up here to these tools and there's a, an erase tool and a restore tool. And you'll usually find yourself having to erase little bits that maybe they missed or restore little bits that they removed. And you know, that can sometimes be a little bit of a process, but this actually worked out perfectly. So we're just gonna hit apply. And so now I have my Hello Summer kind of wobble effect of rainbow text. And from here, there's a few other things we can do. So one of the cool things that we can do here is I can still play with the colors. So I can come back down to color mix and select all. And then what you can do is you can pick any of these and it'll kind of change. You can see how bright it is and it'll change the colors around. And so you can pick whichever color you like that you think looks the best. Oops. And once you, uh, if you were to enter it again, you can change kind of hue and saturation. So that's another cool way that you can play with it. Um, I want to keep it nice and saturated. If you bring it down, it'll make it gray. So again, make it nice and bright, saturated, and pick the color scheme that you like the best. So something like that I think is really cool. So we'll just hit apply. Give it another second. And then I want to go ahead and I do want to put an outline around this because I think that'll just help make it pop a little bit more. So once I have the text the way I like it, I'm going to edit image one more time. This time I'm going to add a shadow. And I'm going to add a glow shadow just like we did before. And this time I'm going to pick whatever color I think will look good. So I want something that's bright, something that's going to pop because I'm trying to get these bright kind of summer designs. So I think something like that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to hit apply again. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and change this background color black back to black because I think that's going to kind of help show it off a little bit better. So here we have our cool hello summer text. Ooh, right there. Okay. And now what I want to do is I'm going to add some colorful palm trees down here just to give it a, an overall fun summer beachy look. So I'm going to come up here to elements and we are going to search our graphics for palm trees. So, so I'm going to hit palm tree. I'm going to sort by graphics. And there's a whole bunch of different palm trees you can see. I like these here because they're bright and colorful. So that's one of the ones that I really like. And I can do a few more too. I can scroll down and look at all my options. Um, so you've got a lot of different choices. Some of these you can change the color. So if you want to put palm trees in a bunch of different colors, you can. Um, palm tree to sunset. So you have all sorts of different cool choices for summer palm tree looks. I like this one here. So this is the one I want to use right here. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to make this a nice bright color. So I'm thinking maybe something like that, a bright green that I pulled in. 
from my Hello Summer. So that looks cool there. I like the way that that looks overall. I mean, I can also take this background one, I can make it bigger or smaller or play with its kind of location. I can bring it down, bring it up. I'm gonna bring kind of something like this, I think looks cool, makes it pop. So that is my overall Hello Summer look, and this would look good on a black background. It would also probably look pretty good on white, I think. Okay, so there it is on a white background. Now on a white background, you can see now that the palm trees kind of come down a little bit below where I'd like them to. So I'm gonna, there we go. There, now it looks like the, uh, the purple palm trees kind of come all the way down to the bottom here. So that looks pretty cool like that. So this is my Hello Summer design. It's already titled up here, Hello Summer. So now I can go ahead and download the entire design as a PNG with a transparent background. And we'll just click download. And that is how you can make a really cool kind of trippy rainbow text color design. It's great for summer or anytime you wanna use just bright popping colors. So. This design went really smoothly because we did it in a particular order. Um, I want to show you a few things that can kind of impact the way it's going to look if you change the order of the steps that we did. So I'm just going to pull up another page here just to illustrate some of these. So for starters, I'm going to grab my text that I saved. Sorry, uploads. So that is the text that I had saved here. So the first thing we did was we distorted the text and then we added a shadow around it. But I wanna show you what would happen if we added the shadow first and then tried to distort the text. So if I was to take this and I was to add a shadow to it first, and I'm just gonna make it a bright color so that you can actually see. Um, so let's say I tried to add a bright color to it. Make it big so that you can see it. Here we go, apply. A sec here. All right. So if I add the border to it and then I go to distort it, you'll notice that it does not distort as well as it did without the border. So let me come down here, liquify, and we'll do the exact same thing. I'm going to do the wobble. Now this time you'll see that as I change this, I'm not getting the shape that I got before. The border has kind of made it so that it's not, it's not changing the way it did prior. So you can see that. Um, cancel. So if I was to go back, for example, and get rid of my border, whoops, that's weird. Without the border, if I come to edit image and I go to wobble, okay, you can see how the shape kind of changes and I have a lot more room to change the overall shape, right? So you can see the difference between having a border first and not having a border first. So if you're gonna use this effect, the first thing you have to do is choose the wobble effect and then you have to overlay the other effects. So that's just one example I wanted to go over, but let's go ahead, we'll apply this and I'll show you another one. The next thing we did was we put a border on it. But if we were to go ahead and do the rainbow overlay before putting a border on, for example, We'll go ahead and do the overlay without the border. We'll do offsets. Something cool. That 
that looks cool right there. Let's say we apply this and give it a second. So now when we go to remove the background, it probably won't do as good of a job as it did the first time around. So I'm gonna hit background removal. Oops. And then we'll see what it gives us. remarkably well that time too that was surprising but we do see that we get a little bit of a background here let me try this again so I've got my hello summer we'll go ahead and we'll remove the background okay and so for this example it did not remove the background entirely so here what we would have to do is use our erase tools and come up here and try to erase it. And so we'd have to bring that brush size way down. I'd have to scroll into the picture, scroll up, and I would have to manually go ahead and erase everything that I didn't want. Now it surprisingly did a pretty good job. Um, sometimes you'll notice that it does not do a good job. Sometimes you'll be missing part of your text or there'll be a lot more background. So surprisingly it did a good job. But it doesn't always. There we go. So those are just um, some things to note in terms of the order in which you do things. So again, the order that we did this design up here is we started with a white text and then we did the wobble effect and then we did the outline and then we did the rainbow overlay and then we did the background removal and then we did the outline again. So those are the steps that I took to get this design. Uh, if you change the order of the steps, it can change your overall design, um, just so that you're aware. So I hope you found this helpful, um, and I hope you uh, have some fun creating some of these designs. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with uh, tips and tricks on how to create different types of Canva designs, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.